down at Scottsdale. We've taken the horses on inside. We are ready for two and a half hours of live boxing action on ESPN 2's Friday Night Fight. Of course, Sugar Ray Leonard promoting. You saw him, Teddy by my side. And there's Leander Johnson. He's 32 years of age from Atlantic City, New Jersey, 135 pounds. Former NABF lightweight champion, 31, 3 and 1, 25 knockouts. He has a loss in his last five, a technical loss to Michael Clark on June the 30th of last year. Clash of heads, Clark didn't want to continue, lost on the scorecards. His opponent used to be known as Emmanuel Burton, now he's known as Emmanuel Augustus, 27 years of age from Chicago. Mr. Action, 135 pounds, 26, 19 and 4, 13 knockouts in his career. Last five, he has the loss to Mickey Ward on Friday Night Fights and a loss to Leonard Doreen. Those are the two losses. He's bounced back with easy wins against lesser opposition. Well, Emmanuel Augustus, then known as Emmanuel Burton, was involved in the fight of the year, not only on Friday Night Fights, but in boxing last year, taking on Irish Mickey Ward in New Hampshire, a 10-round slug fest. Number two all-time in CompuBox as far as punches landed in a combination thrown by the two men. But then he had the loss to Doreen. What does Augustus think about that? Ever since the Doreen fight, I've been in the gym every day, every day, every day. Even on Sundays, I've been in the gym training hard. So it, it's going to take a hell of a caliber of fighter, you know what I'm saying, to like really, you know, put something on me. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen today. A refocused Emmanuel Augustus. Bobby Ferrara is the referee for Johnson and Augustus. We are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Unified rules will be used for tonight's bouts. As you get a look at Augustus. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And on the accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after four, count of four rounds are complete. Well, we were at the Rawhide, which opened in 1972, the second most visited tourist spot in the state of Arizona, behind the Grand Canyon. A couple years ago, they had over almost a million people visit the Rawhide, an old western-type place. A lot of good things for the kids. You can ride horses, a lot of museum artifacts. And a great steakhouse. Augustus in the black trunks and Johnson in the white. Augustus sometimes can be a little wide. Johnson is known for his sharp shooting kind of punches. Down the middle, brisk, snappy. Right hand on the chin by Augustus finds the mark. And he's coming out very aggressive here in round number one. Teddy, you know, when I look at Emmanuel Augustus, we've seen him time and time again here on ESPN2. Put together a nice combination there. He's always taking fights on short notice. He's always in someone else's backyard. And he always says that he's in just not good enough shape to lose those split decisions. If he's in shape, he can make some waves, can he? Shape physically and shape mentally. Depends what Emmanuel Augustus shows up. The guy who wants to play around like that just posture a little bit too much defensively or the man who wants to work like he did in that great fight with Mickey Ward. Oh, I love that New York accent with you on the horse. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, you like my horse, Max, there. <laughs> a little slow. It's okay, though. <laughs> I kicked him a couple times. <laughs> you probably enjoy that more than most. Well, Johnson had to deal with an aggressive Burton to start the fight. This is just round one. Johnson has sort of gathered things a little bit. Let's see if Burton picks up the pace. The reason Johnson was on the receiving end a little bit, obviously Augustus came out fast, but Johnson went defensive too much. When you go defensive too much with a man who just chucking leather at you, you allow him to keep chucking. You must move those hands in between the defense. Right there, you can see Johnson Stymies himself a little bit too much, stands straight up. Johnson puts himself on the defense right in front of his man in punching range. Not a good idea. When you put yourself on the defense, do not, do not stand straight up. Put yourself in a position where you can still control things offensively. Augustus in the black trunks, a cagey guy, slick guy, a lot of skills, maybe 
too good for his own good. It's lazy at times. Johnson comes right back. Good action here in the first round. Each guy's had their moments. And the slight edge to Emmanuel Augustus. So the first of ten in the books for Augustus and Johnson. Well, ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights is presented by Miller High Life. To live simply, proudly, boldly, manly. This is the High Life. And in part by 1010-220. Dial and all calls up for 20 minutes are just 99 cents. We're at Rawhide here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Glad you could join us for ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. And uh, Teddy, good to be back after having last week off. Congratulations. Before we talk about this fight, Congratulations, another addition to your lovely family, you and your wife, Jennifer. Yeah, I got to talk to my wife, Jennifer, last night, gave birth to our third son, little Nicholas, 6 pounds, 11 ounces. Great job by Dr. Ian Gluck at Morristown Memorial Hospital. Carol and the nurse, they took care of us. But, you know, we talk about Emmanuel Augustus being tough. My wife, unbelievable. She did it, no pain medication. Quite an emotional experience. These two guys in the ring, they can deal with a lot of pain, can't they? Yes, they can. These guys, especially Gun Augustus. Augustus is the kind of guy who's always in tough fights. He hasn't been given any of those freebies early on in his career. He doesn't know anything about freebies. Therefore, he's lost some tough decisions, some tough fights, but he's got the mentality of a fighter. He's learned how to fight. He would not blow it up on Cotton Cannon. All right, we'll take a look at the numbers in round one, and Augustus throws 126 punches, 39 of 126, 31 of 88 power. When you talked earlier, Bob, about Augustus being in shape, he'll be ready to win. And I said to you, I qualified it by saying, if he's in mental shape, you just saw what I'm talking about a moment ago with Augustus, picking his legs up, doing a little jiving, doing a little dancing, a little mocking. He needs to keep his mind on business. Johnson here, Bob, has not learned how to stay at the end of his punches and stay out of Augustus' punching distance. A lot of times, he's in a little too close in that no-man zone. He's not using his height all the time. Now he's trying to. But he's allowing Augustus to make real safe right here. He's allowing Augustus to get into that pocket. Augustus needs to be in. I wasn't there last week in Lincoln City, Oregon. The Sugar Ray Leonard fight, but Augustus reminds me a lot, minus 65 pounds, of James Tony. They're staying tight here, but he's got the ability to create just enough anger to create just enough space for himself, and makes his opponent miss just enough so they never really get hurt. He does have that ability does have the ability to slip and slide and counter, no doubt about it. Not quite as tight with it, or as consistent with it, as Tony, the former two-time world champion is. Right now, again, Johnson, staying in that punching zone, not using his height, standing right in that no-man's land where Augustus can find them. One thing you can't like about Johnson right now is he'll stand straight up every once in a while. When he stands straight up, pulls straight back. He is a target. Johnson not doing much to use his height as an advantage. 